it's so bright. No, it doesn't. It doesn't suit. They don't suit me right. Yeah, it looks like I should be pulling somebody over. It looks like I should be paying child support in Florida. I know you're gonna dig this. Get, get, fu get funky with me. A lot of water. Is it going back up so that it's reused? Is that reusable water? Or is that, is that just, your your feet are in it? And it's going back up and going back on other people's feet. I guess it's like a pool, but it's not. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to downtown Chicago. Here, look, look. This is Chicago. Wow. Now I am going. Now I've done. Ferris Bueller filming locations. I was going to redo them on this. Uh, I was going to redo them on this trip. And I thought, you know, I've done them. I've seen them. You've seen them on my channel if you're watching. Hi. They're not great. Hello. They're not great because they were in the early years. Or are they ever great? I don't know. But I thought what I'd do is um, see something I've never seen before, which is the painting from Ferris Bueller. The George Thoreau, uh, it was a Sunday afternoon on the island of Grand Chate. George Thoreau painting that is here at the Chicago, at the Art Institute of Chicago. I keep calling Chicago Art Institute. The Art Institute of Chicago. Shut it down. It's really loud here in downtown Chicago. And there's American Gothic. Be what? I can't yell at all of you at once. But we're going to go inside. I'm going to show you that painting. We're going to walk around. We're going to get some culture. I'm going to culture you up. Okay? So get ready for some culture. Let's get culture. Don't look at me. So we're getting to it right here. I believe this is the front entrance because I've walked, uh, I think so. Uh, yeah, kind of reminds me of New York. I've been down, down here before, but this is Michigan Avenue. So this part reminds me of New York. This part kind of reminds me of New York. That reminds me of, well, the fact that I'm very hungry and I would eat lion right now if it was served to me. I'm that hungry. All right, let's go inside and see what's happening. I'm gonna find that painting. I don't know if I'm gonna walk directly towards it. What the hell are you looking at, girl? I'm gonna walk directly towards it and I'll show you nothing else. No, we'll take a quick look around. $21 a park for an hour around here. An hour. No joke. I gotta tell you, the people that work here are not so nice right away. I was impressed, was not impressed. Not being a Karen, but wasn't impressed. Walking up this grand staircase here to a giant bug. Adorable. And I see Impressionism right there. So I'm assuming that is where we're going to find George Thoreau. In arms and armor. Yep. It's definitely going to be in here. Crowded. People are just staring. Staring. Straight ahead. Wow. done well see what happened was the young lady at the front counter wasn't very pleasant at first well it wasn't pleasant I uh, said yeah no cameras are no problem no problem as soon as I pulled out my camera up in the impressionist hall I was told right away no filming I was like what and so you can't film inside 
Now that happens a lot with these things, but I double checked on the website. It said nothing. It said cameras are fine. I assume that to mean photography. I also assume it to mean video, but I double checked everything. It did not mention video. So I went back to the front desk and I said, listen, I'm here to film something. What's the deal? And they said, yeah, you can't. They were very nice to meet the two gentlemen I dealt with afterwards. Five, yeah. And they refunded my money. But I did get a shot at the George Thoreau. And now, because I'm really angry about that, not angry at them, I get it. But they don't want people video, 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 filming inside, that's fine. The mother's really dry. I get it. If they don't want people filming inside, that's fine. So I'm not angry at the people that work there. Maybe the one girl a little bit. But I'm now going to take you. Somebody else will do a Ferris wheeler, but it's also my favorite place in Chicago. It's where I go to clean my, clear my, get this. Settle down. It's where I go every time I'm in Chicago. And I love it. And you're going to love it too. And if you don't love it, well, you can't get a refund. You can just click off. Don't. All right, let's go. Wait, you know, I can't tell you what to do. I can't tell you how to look at it. Back in that same corner that was so loud. It was just so loud again. It's so loud here. But wait till you see where we're going. I'll shut up over there. It's it's so quiet. Nice blue hair. I like that, actually. It's really cool. All right, we're going to go. Oh, ice cream. Mm. We're going to. Oh, Los Michaels. Ooh, Mexican, I'm starving. Did I mention that? Yeah, so we're gonna, oh boy. No, it's not what I thought it was. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go somewhere really interesting and relaxing, I hope. Is this just here? You look on your left, the guy in the yellow shirt, Shades McGee there, he's got sunglasses on, but he's got a cell phone in his back pocket. Let me give you a tip, if you're in a big city, don't carry your cell phone in your back pocket. It can easily be taken out. Watch, I'm gonna go steal it from him right now. Then I'm gonna whip it at his head. He's gonna learn his lesson. Okay, I didn't, don't look at me. I didn't steal it, but still, he kind of learned his lesson. Shades Thompson. PI. Straight down there, beautiful Lake Michigan. Toronto and Chicago, very similar. Both on a, one of the Great Lakes, both huge cities. And, um, well, they're both, uh, it's cars and buildings, so lots of similarities. Restaurants, fire hydrants, but so, so much. It's very similar. We have lights. Why am I shaking? I'm not shaking the camera shape. Yeah, we have lights. We have license plates on the front of our car as well. There, there's a big difference. There's a huge difference. These tennis courts, I've been like once a year for five years at least. I guess I missed 2020, but even before that I've come out here. I've never seen anybody ever playing tennis here. 
ever. All right, so here we are, my favorite location. Ooh, sun. Here we are, my favorite location in Chicago. Favorite place to go in Chicago. It's called Glencoe Beach. Now, I should say we just had a bit of an accident in the car that was inside the car. I didn't have a car accident. I had an accident in the car. What happened was I was eating chicken, or while well, I was about to eat chicken, but it was plain chicken, and that's boring. And I like barbecue sauce. Who doesn't? You don't? Well, you're weird. So I had like a little thing of barbecue. Well, it's about this big. They gave it to me at a restaurant the night. So I was like, oh, oh look, chipmunk. I have, I have the br same brain. Uh, so I opened the barbecue sauce. And I guess because it's been sitting in my car all day, something to do with barbecue sauce and oxygen together when they meet makes it explode. So it's all over my shirt. As you can see, went all over my jacket that I was wearing before, the Paisley jacket. It's brown, it's awful. Thank God this shirt is black, so you can't really tell, but it's <laughs> went right down. And then I tried to clean it, which made it worse. And it's everywhere. I sting like barbecue sauce. I look like I've been participating in, in like a home birth. Like it's just, it's, it's really gross everywhere. And I smell like barbecue sauce. And these people are in for a rude awakening when they, those people, when they smell me. But I'm gonna change my shirt in a second. I should change it. Well, you know what? I don't really care if I smell like barbecue sauce. But I can't eat plain chicken. I'm not a cat, so I I just don't even know what cats eat. Um, I'm a dog person, but I do like cats. But I'm assuming they eat chicken. I don't know if they eat big pieces of the chicken like I was eating. Who eats like that? So now my car smells like a rotisserie chicken, and I'm sticky and gooey, and it's all over. <laughs> sticky. Welcome to our college years. Am I right? <laughs> it's really bright. But I can't put on sunglasses. Well, okay. I'll put on with sunglasses. Look at that. Look how bright that is. Okay, let me. Let me I, I brought sunglasses, but I don't wear sunglasses ever. I don't mock people who wear sunglasses. Well, I just was that guy before. But I don't wear. I don't really wear sunglasses because I look like I should be pulling somebody over. Like, I don't know. I, just, I don't. I, I feel like they don't suit. But it's so bright. No, it doesn't. It doesn't suit. They don't suit me right. Yeah, it looks like I should be pulling somebody over. It looks like I should be paying child support in Florida. No offense, Florida. But this is just, it's not right. It's not me. So I'd rather squint, look around. But here, this is a location from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. And it's called the Stanton Schumann Overlook. Now, I've been here many times. I've been here for my, another chipmunk. I've been here many times. And I did a video here once where I just came and said, this is my favorite place. But I don't know if I ever uploaded that. I use it for Ferris Bueller and I came back here, but I really don't remember. So I, this could be a video I just did last year, just repeating it. But I don't remember, I didn't even bother to check. I just, I was knew I was coming out here. I'm away north out of Chicago. So maybe I did the same video last. I don't think I did. Now that there's a lot of chipmunks. So if you're a fan of Ferris Bueller's Day Off, which I guess you are, and last time I was here, there were uh, a lot of blue-haired beauties right here to our left sitting on the bench that uh, sat for the whole time. And I wanted to sit on the bench that Ferris was, like, sitting on when he's watching Cameron and uh, uh, Mia? Mia? Cameron and... Cameron and Sky? Scarlet? Skylark? Cameron Fry, Ferris Bueller, but even in real life is Mia. What the hell is her name in the movie? Oh my god, I was just about to look it up and then get Sloan Deer. Oh, Sloan Deer. Anyway, last time I was here, there was uh, some elderly people that did not seem to want to get up for me. And I was like, uh, I'm the guest in your city, so maybe you should let me sit. And that didn't go over well. But really, come on. You ruined my shot. But it's right around here. I'm going to show you the exact... I'm just going to go right in front of these people that are talking. They're having a quiet day. They're about to be interrupted by an obnoxious Canadian who's trying to find the exact place where Cameron was lying. And I did find it before, and I'll find it again. But this is it. This is a famous location from Ferris Bueller's Day Off, overlooking a beautiful, beautiful uh, beach. Glencoe Beach, it's called. And you can see over top... We'll go this way bit of a drop and there it is there's the beach nobody's in the water but people are in nobody's in the water but people are in their bathing suits so possibly earlier today they were getting sun and now they're not that person's right there 
is in full like clothing so I don't know what they're doing I think they're just thinking and I'm going to let them think I'm not going to interrupt them but I've got a dog walker there that's good they could poop right on the beach and if it's the same color no one, no one would know so bring your dogs to the beach and you let them poop you, I, I, is that why dogs aren't allowed on the beach do people not pick up after their dogs you know I follow my dog around with that bag and I'm, 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 I'm urging him on I'm making him on to poop it's got to be nerve wracking for a dog when you're like come on poop poop you can do it you can do it I, you know, if somebody was doing that to me, it's going to have the opposite effect. Maybe we should just all just have more patience with our dogs until they poop on their own time outside. Yeah. Oh, we got movement behind me. But yeah, there's some people that are kind of kind of in the water, but not really. Not really. But right here, this is where Cameron was laying down and slowing there. I was talking right here along this very stretch of cement. And these benches, very famous from the movie. So Cameron was laying right here. This is the exact one that he was covering. There's only, all the other ones are straight across, except for this one, which is a different color because they're all white, filled in, and they're all straight. This is the only one that's curved exactly the way. So Cameron was laying right here in the movie, in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. The greatest movie ever made, quite possibly the greatest movie ever made yeah mm. so Ferris Bueller's Day Off if you haven't seen it Ferris Bueller he's a high schooler he's a ne'er-do-well he's awesome he takes a day off he visits his friend Cameron and he takes his girlfriend Sloan out of school and they spend the day galloping around Chicago and have a great time they go to the Art Institute of course they have moments of clarity they have moments of despair they destroy a Ferrari it's the best movie ever life moves pretty fast right what's the rest if you don't slow down in a while, it's, it's, go home. The movie's over. Go home. That's at the very end. So watch it till the end of the credits. That was the first movie I ever saw where something happened at the end of the credits. It's over. Go home. What are you doing? The movie's over. But that famous scene was shot right here. Very cool. I love it. I love it here. And not just because of the movie. I mean, I love filming locations. And I love John Hughes movies. And I love Ferris Bueller. Uh, but it's just, you know, I'm, I'm always when I've uh, come here, it's at the end of my Chicago trip usually when I spend time in Chicago. And once again, I'm headed out of the city. I filmed so much here in the past few days, but I'm headed out and I had to stop here. And I want to share it with you guys. So it looks like even the benches, I mean, the benches have been changed, but they're in the same spots, which is very, very cool. Yeah, the Stanton Schumann Overlook, July 4th, 1991. We honor his selfish, selfless dedication to Glencoe. Glencoe is the area here, village of Glencoe near Skokie and Winnetka, which is where the Home Alone house is. It's all around me. This is, excuse me. That's the barbecue sauce. But I got some. I got some of it on the chicken. Most of it, of course, is still on me. It's kind of dried up now, and it's formed a like a like a paste against my body. It's gone through the clothing. But I'm headed to a hotel soon. I've got. What, I've actually got one stop north of the city that I'm going to film at. So I, I. So hopefully, and then I'll you know take a shower or a bath or jump into Lake Michigan further north which probably would be a little cold but it might be just what the, the barbecue sauce needs to counteract it because like I said it seems to be it could be poison I hope it doesn't have fentanyl in it but it could it could very well be poison if barbecue sauce gets on it you can eat barbecue sauce you just can't put it all over your body it's not a tanning agent garbage can it's a garbage can so there's a garbage can here uh, no parking and turn around. And here we've got this yellow pool, the two red things on it. And welcome to Glencoe Beach. No lifeguard on duty. Yeah, yeah, it's $35 for a season pass, $10 for a daily pass. And you gotta beware of ne what? Red winged blackbirds are protective of their nests and may dive towards people or animals. What? Oh, 
Did you? <laughs> okay, whatever's going on, hey, don't dive at me. Red winged blackbirds are a federally protected species. Well, they, you, that's great and all, but they seem like dicks. No offense. I know I get it, the protector of the nest, but the people walk by making noises in there. It's probably more of those chipmunks, but still. They dive towards, oh, you know, big deal. So you're going to dive towards me. You know what? I would scream. I would literally scream and run if a, if a red winged blackbird dived towards me. If a red winged any bird dove toward me. Dived? Dove. So one thing I do with my channel is I don't get my shadow ever on camera, if you notice that. I try not to get my reflection in mirrors. It's like you're watching a real film. I've been telling, uh, I'll be a few YouTubers starting out. That's how I shoot. But right now I'm just walking around, so I don't mind a little bit of a shadow. There I am. Seven feet tall. I haven't done that in a while. I don't like to get my shadow. don't like to get my reflection. I shoot these my videos so that you're watching them and you get taken into the video and not distracted by... Things that shouldn't be on the screen. You're only seeing what I want you to see, or what you should be seeing. You don't have a choice. It's up to me. Well, you have a choice to, like I said, click off. But don't. You probably already have. Fauna. So the whole scene takes place right here. There's angles. Wherever these lovely ladies are sitting, they they were kind enough to let me go in front of them and interrupt them. But yeah, right around here, and they shot down from. Look at this angle for some of the shots. Like that, kind of. That. And there you go. Zebra print. Zebra print. It's not zebra print. More fun. It looks like a jungle down there. Like it looks... Uh, if all these trees weren't here and so annoying, what do we, we don't need this many, these many trees. We don't. I mean, I'm not a forester. I, I, uh, I, I'm just saying we could have a beautiful shot of the Chicago skyline. So they should tear down all these trees, uh, so I can see it, and then put them back up when I leave. Sailboats, so you can go out, and if you go across, you're on the other side. Grand Rapids, Kalamazoo, Michigan, and yeah, and not a lot of boats out today. No speedboats. Nobody's tubing. <laughs> Tubing. Welcome to our college years, am I right? And scene. I guess that's it for the video. I'm going to go use the porta potty that's over there. The Johnny on the spot, if you will. Or, uh, don't look at me. Uh, the Kaibo. We used to call it back in camp, back in Toronto. Call it the go to the Kaibo. Um, I'm going to use it just quickly. Uh, it's a number one because anything else would be gross. Let's be honest, outside. Um, and like I said, I, I feel like someone would be knocking and it would just clog everything up but hey he's just holding that apple behind his hand it's all casual he's gonna throw it look at him he's just holding it so like i'm gonna get started on people walking around eating but it's just you know it, it, you have to bring an apple like why don't you eat before you before you left Who, that's an old actor's trick by the way uh is it, it, for imp improvisation you'll see that a lot when they enter a scene, if you ever go to an improv show, which, uh, does anybody go to those anymore? There's always going to be one actor, you're always going to know it. they're going to be pretending to eat an apple, they're going to make the sound. You're not holding an apple. It's so annoying to watch. Improv is hit or miss. Uh, obviously, this whole video, hey, hey, miss. Hey, miss, thank you so much. I miss you already. Miss you, miss you, and through it all, she offers me protection. A lot of love and affection, whether I'm right or wrong. Diving birds are come, coming down to get me, and they're gonna swoop me straight up in the sky. They won't forsake me. It's the Great Mud Run. Kid, think, dream bigger, dream bigger, okay? great mud run that's what they do up here all right thank you so much for watching if you're still but if you're still around there's people over there too there's people over there just, sit, just sitting on like lawn chairs in a park <laughs> what what are you doing this we should bring lawn chairs to the park today and sit and talk i'd be like why don't we just stay here and talk why do we have to go to a park 
Oh, you mean it's a nice day out? Yeah, well, okay, well, let's go for a drive or let's go somewhere. No, let's take our lawn chairs to a park. Can you see them? They're right through there. Right there. Let's take lawn chairs to a park, sit down. Well, let's, let's have a talk. We'll bring a thermos of, I don't know, spritzers or uh, what do you call it? Sangria. Could have convinced me a thermos. I, I like a thermos of like Monster Energy or thermos of coffee, sure. But I have to be going somewhere. Don't invite me to a park to sit down with you and 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 think that we're gonna. But well, actually, I was at a park not too long ago. But I was meeting viewers, and that was really fun. Shout out to um, uh, Nina, Mackenzie, and Sean, who I was uh, sitting with. That was fun. Oh, and Juan and um, oh my gosh, now I forgot. Har well, she goes by Harley Quinn, so I always call her Harley Quinn. Shout out to you guys as well. I was sitting with them in a party. That was different because there was a purpose. That's the thing. That, mm, that's the difference. I had a purpose. But if you say, let's just go. I, I've, I've said this before in other videos. Don't invite me to go for a walk. Ever. It's not going to happen. I don't understand. If, if we're walking, let's go somewhere. Why are we? Why, first of all, why are we walking? Why aren't we driving? Second of all, if we're walking... And somebody says, oh, let's go for a walk. I'll be like, well, where are we going? I've said this before. I know I've said this before. It's, but I, it just bothers me. Where are we going? Well, we're just going to go for a walk. Well, what do you mean? Just walk. Well, where are we going to walk to? We're just going to walk around. Well, where do we end up? Here. Why do we leave? What's the point of leaving if we're already here? We've walked. <laughs> Maybe I stole that from Jerry Seinfeld because I'm doing it in his voice. But I don't think so. I think that's, it's how I feel. If the point of the walk is to get back here, why are we leaving? Why? It's not my best time, fellow. Why? I can do it. You, you, you've heard it before. It's not great, but it's it's better than that. <sighs> it's like some kind of like primitive tree house. I gotta pee. All right. Thanks a lot for watching. I love you all. Wait till the next video. It's gonna be a lot better than this. This is just like I'm gonna be walking around in places every now and again, filling in the gaps while I'm editing the big topics, the big videos, the big ones, as they say. <laughs> Speaking of no okay and um yeah so every now and again this is a video like this and i got two new tat two new tattoos i put them on my patreon olympia washington seattle so you can check them out there and that's not really exciting who cares everybody has tattoos um hello you're sparse in places you're getting old but so am i I love you. Thanks for watching. Peace. There's the Kaibo. Out. So I am in the Kaibo now. You're going to hear um, quite a uh, echo. I don't know what the hell that is. Well, that's creepy as hell. Well, it's got on tape here. That's my tag. Nintendo Wii presents peeing alone. Peeing with friends. I don't want to touch anything. How do you open Okay. Uh, also, what I wanted to say before was, yeah, I come out, I come out, there's people to the left, I come out filming. Yeah, check my OnlyFans. What I wanted to say was that Art Institute, because I couldn't film inside, I left right away, got my money back because, as I've always said, if I can't see it, you can't see it. You, the viewer. I, I don't, I, everything I film, it goes up eventually. But if they don't allow me to film somewhere, then I don't go and I don't see it for myself because I want you, the viewer, to come along with me each time. So, I'm um, just saying. So, you're welcome. That's how nice I am. Yep. Don't you dare cough. Don't you dare cough while I'm filming. Go.